Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for staying tuned. Uh, we are still continuing with our um, tutorial on how to apply for the green card effectively and be able to succeed in your application. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the passport photo that you're going to use and how to do it effectively in your application. In our previous video, we covered about how to apply for the green card. So if you have not watched that video, make sure you uh, watch it so that you can be able to be in line with this tutorial because this is a continuation of it on how to do a good passport photo uh, that will be acceptable because many people are, uh, are ruled out because of failure to have a good and clear passport photo. So without further ado, let us go to our browser and you, we, we, we will type the video 2024 and then we click this link. It will take us here. So we come to the photo examples. We highlighted these ones in our previous tutorial. So when you come here, you find this photo tool because if we say that your passport has to be very clear and uh, we shared a lot about it in our previous tutorial. So we come here to the photo tool. There's an error that comes up. When you come here, before you submit your passport photo or you upload your passport photo, make sure you pass it through uh, this uh, a photo tool for you to be able to know whether it will be acceptable. So you can choose your photo. When you choose your photo, if you see this error, your photo has been rejected for following reasons. Image is overly compressed. Please use a compression ratio that is less than 20 is to one. So when you have a, uh, an error like this one, you are rest, rest assured that your passport will not go through. So make sure you have a passport photo that is acceptable and that will be able to pass through this test. So what do you do? One, you will need to download a certain software that is free and uh, that will help you edit that passport photo. So when you come here, you type XN view shell extension and then you click OK. So this is the software that you are talking about. So you click it. Uh, it will take you to this website. So <clears throat> you will have to check your Windows. So if you have Windows 32, if you have 64 bit, so you will download either of the setup. So I have already installed the software, so there's no need to install it. Once you install the software, what you do is that you go to the location where you have your photo, and this is the desktop. So this is the photo that I want to edit. So I'll come here, click Show Options, and then come to Exen Shell, Convert. You select Convert. Here, make sure it's, yeah, it's selected JP, JPG, JPEG, and then you come to settings, make sure you disable these two. And this ones you disable too. Make sure they are they are disabled. So no clicking, you, you have not highlighted anything on this. And then you leave it at slow. And then this one, you click the best quality. And then you click OK. This one, you select 200 by 200. So if it is 100 by 100 or 500 by 500, you make sure you select 200 by 200 and then you click convert. So now this is the converted passport photo. So if we come to our page, we come and choose the photo. The photo. This is the one that has been converted. So we select on it. You see it is being accepted and processed. So it will automatically crop it. And this is now the passport that you are going to use. So you click accept and then you can click download image to your device and you can use it 
to continue with your application. Once again, thank you so much. Please don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe so that whenever we produce other videos, you will be able to see them. God bless you. Have a good time.